All right, so that was the first scenario relating to where users are working from. So using work scheduling for that. Now let's have a look at a second scenario here. Now the second scenario is a very is another interesting one, and this is the ability to use work scheduling for projects. So as we can see here on the legend on the top right, we see flight operations project, spaceship building project, alpha project. So we have a line of projects that users can indicate on the calendar to show what kind of projects they're working on right now and for how long. So at the top is my schedule, at the bottom are my colleagues, so I can also see exactly what projects my colleagues are working on. Moreover, as a manager, I can use this as a planning tool to, to allocate projects and indicate which users are going to be working on which projects and for what period of time. Now, another useful thing if we're looking at this interface and this particular scenario is the ability to set up the default the default squares as, for example, idle time. And by doing so, we know exactly who is not currently working on any project. So who uh, can we allocate a project to? Or we can also alternatively see that somebody is currently busy with two or even more projects. So there's no idle time there. We certainly shouldn't be assigning any more projects to this particular user. Okay, let's have a look and just spend a little bit of time talking about the data relating to this kind of scenario. So if we go to reports, the report is now of course called projects. Um, we're gonna see not only total time spent on each given project and month or any other uh, date range option available. Um, so we see the total time spent and we can also see, for example, in this case, total idle time. And in this way, we can draw conclusions from that and have insightful data on how long we've been working on certain projects, who's working on those projects, who was participating in them, even if just for a day or two. 